With me is Ken Riggle, the co-director of Just Harvest, and I hear that your position here has a direct link to Joyce Rothermel. Can you tell me about that? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, Joyce was one of the founders of Just Harvest uh, back in 1986 uh, when she was on the board of directors of uh, the Hunger Action Coalition, the organization that we grew out of at that time. Um, and um, uh, so we had been involved in, in uh, some of the earliest meetings to create the organization. Um, uh, and uh, she was our, our founding treasurer on the board of directors when we first got started. Um, but my, uh, my connection to her in this field goes back even further uh, because when I first started working for uh, Hunger Action Coalition uh, before Just Harvest was formed, uh, Joyce was one of the people who uh, did the job interview where I first got hired. Uh, so I, uh, I do owe much of my career here to, uh, uh, to that personal link to Joyce. That's nice. And how has knowing Joyce impacted how you work and what you do here? Well, I, I think that Joyce, for a lot of us in the anti-hunger movement, is a, um, a, a moral compass. Um, somebody who um, always has the, uh, the perspective of um, what's right for the hungry people that we um, that we serve and advocate for, um, and whose um, uh, whose rights and needs we defend, um, that whatever the um, whatever the issue, whatever the partnerships that we're um, engaged in, whatever committee and whatever narrow function we're talking about right at the moment, um, her eye is always on the ball, and um, and that keeps the rest of us with our eye on the ball as well. Personally, when you meet Joyce or when you interact with her, what is the feeling? It's so hard to describe. I've met her, and if you could find a way to help me tell everyone what it's like to be around Joyce. Well, I, I think that Joyce's personal warmth is, you know, is one of her remarkable assets, um, but it's always combined with... Um, with this powerful dedication on the issues, whether we're working together on hunger issues, whether we're talking about her work on Haiti solidarity, whether we're working together in the peace movement, um, or on a variety of other issues that come up from time to time, um, the, the focus and dedication to the mission um, is always there, but the warmth is always there. Um, there's a, um, uh, a sort of um, self-effacing cliche in, um, uh, in progressive politics about how some of us um, uh, love mankind but can't really stand other people. Um, and I think Joyce is the, um, is the proof that that's not true, um, that here's someone who combines that bigger picture of... Um, of uh, an absolute dedication to um, to the golden rule and to the well-being of our of our neighbors, um, but without losing that intimate personal connection to every person that she's working with, whether it's a corporate executive, whether it's an ally in the movement, whether it's a poor person that's being individually helped out right that minute. Mm -hmm. And if we could find a way to be like Joyce um, as community members or as employees of whatever kinds of organizations, what would you say would be the thing that you would take from her? How would you describe that? Oh, if I was going to be more like Joyce, I would have to be a nicer person and work harder, <laughs> um, uh, both of which are, uh, you know, have proven to be insurmountable challenges for me. Mm -hmm. um, being involved with Joyce, have you seen any funny stories or good stories or um, anything to share? Um, a couple of years ago, um, uh, I was um, critical of the food bank for um, choosing to honor a particular um, significant donor to the food bank um, whose um, whose political work outside of 
um, of this person's role as a donor to the food bank um, was in many ways detrimental to the needs of hungry people. And I was deeply concerned that, um, that issuing that particular honor was um, detrimental to our cause, mm -hmm. uh, that it was sending the wrong message to the community. Uh, and I called Joyce up and we I expressed that concern and, and she very gently, um, but forcefully in her own way, um, made the observation that each opportunity to engage this particular person was opening his eyes a little bit more and warming his heart a little bit more. And the decision to provide this honor was a recognition that he was moving in the right direction and that maybe we could use it as an opportunity to move him a little further in the right direction. Um, that would never have been my approach. Um, uh, and um, uh, although I, I don't necessarily agree 100% with that approach, uh, I see both the logic of it and the way that it, um, that it expresses uh, her values um, for the, um, uh, the way that she values the essential humanity of people, uh, even ones that I would consider people who are permanently on the other side uh, from ours on this issue. Mm -hmm. And knowing Joyce just a little bit that I do and have seen, having seen her work, I think that she'd want us all to, to emulate the kind of things um, that, that maybe not that she does. I know she doesn't, she flies under the radar just a little bit. Uh, but knowing her from your view, what do you think she would like us to take from what she does and use as a community? What lessons can we take from her? Uh, work harder and be nicer people. <laughs> it's um, simple, right? I, I, I think um, you know it's the it's the tirelessness, the dedication, the compassion, the personal connection, um, the um, uh, the way of seeing the best in in everybody, so that a policymakers. Um, bad decision on an issue affecting hungry and poor people is um, is not evidence that they're bad or wrong. It's evidence that they um, need to be educated a little bit more. It's evidence that they need to be advocated with a little bit harder, um, but in a way that's um, friendly, respectful, kind, um, and emphasizes our innate sense of compassion, um, finds common ground with people instead of um, finding reasons to alienate ourselves from one another. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else you'd like to share about Joyce? Um, I would just make the observation that the, um, that the future of the food bank um, depends on um, all of us playing our part that um, that Joyce was not um, the food bank in and of herself. Um, what she has helped to build, and she'd be the first, I think, to acknowledge this, um, what she has helped to build in partnership with many, many other talented and wonderful and, and generous people and institutions is um, uh, is an organization, an institution with a, uh, a life and legacy of its own um, that we shouldn't, um, we shouldn't define its success by her um, uh, and we shouldn't define our expectations of its success in the future by having someone just like her in a leadership role. Um, there are many ways of leading, and there are many ways of um, uh, of pro providing the kind of 
of inspiring and forward-looking and challenging message um, that she's brought to, to the anti-hunger movement um, over the years. And part of what she has given to this community um, is, um, is a way, is, a, uh, is the power of that institution to, um, to continue after her retirement. And I think um, it's up to all of us to, uh, to take that baton now in the, in the, in the big relay race and, and continue to get to the finish line where people aren't hungry anymore.